Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, you are actually invited this morning to celebrate with us because this is one of the two Sundays out of the year that we get to celebrate families that have decided to dedicate their children unto the Lord. So I'm going to invite those families to come up on stage. So first I'm going to invite Luna Olivia Fernandez and her family up to the stage. Harrison Miles Goodson and his family. Levi Candelario Hosri and his family. And Alba Sofia Samuela Maldonado and her family up on stage. And uh, as they're coming up on stage, I just want to take a moment to explain how we celebrate baby dedications, baby and child dedications here at Princeton Alliance. Because you could go to 10 different churches and probably witness 10 different dedications and how they perform the ceremony, the dedication, the process. And so as we've searched scriptures, as we prayed about it, as we talked about it, we realized there was not too much instruction as to how baby dedications should be performed. Um, so we looked at Hannah when she dedicated Samuel into the temple after fervent prayer. We looked at Jesus when he was dedicated to the temple for being the firstborn in his family. Um, other than that, we didn't see too many examples of when it was actually done. So the philosophy for our baby dedication here comes from Proverbs 22, uh, verse 6, that says, train a child up in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. That is really the central uh, belief that we have when we celebrate dedications here, that we believe that a parent's call, a parent's command, a parent's mandate is to train their child up in the way they should go that their call is to disciple their children. And so that means that we are not responsible for their careers. We're not responsible for what university they do or do not go to. We are not responsible for making them give their yes to Jesus. We pray for it, we train them up, and we disciple them towards that way, but we believe that that is their decision. And for that reason, we, have, we do not do infant baptisms here, but we believe that that is a personal choice that we hope each and every child up on this stage will one day make that commitment for themselves. And so we believe that that is our call. That is what we are required and expected to do is to disciple our children so that when we point to Jesus, that they will come to know him. They will give their yes. And as you heard in church news, we do have baptisms coming up. We have baptism class uh, for those that are interested, even for children that are interested, but so that they make that choice and they have given their personal yes. And because we do believe that it is the call of the parents, this morning we're celebrating not just these four beautiful babies up on stage, but also these beautiful parents that are up here. Because they have given their yes to say, yeah, I understand what the expectation is, and I want to do that. I want to do that wholeheartedly. And so here at PAC, the dedication process is a little bit different where it's not just a, you fill out a form and you're up on stage. They have had um, several weeks of this process where they've had to watch some videos and they've had to answer questions and process and think through what does it actually mean to raise my child up in the faith? And one of those things that we consider is that one day these four beautiful babies that look to their parents for everything will one day not look to their parents for everything that there will come a day where they will look to other people in their lives to decipher what is the path I should go, what should I do about this, and all these different things. And so they have said, not only do I want to raise my child up in the faith, but in this season of life, I believe that Prince and Alliance Church is the village and where I want that to be, and the community of faith that I want my children to be surrounded by. So the invitation is not just to them but it's also to each and every one of you here in our church today and watching online that you are invited to be part of the spiritual community of these four children here this morning. And so at this moment, I am going to pass this off to uh, Miss Tiffany, our children's director, as she will share a blessing over our families. Good morning. I'm so excited to uh, be reading a blessing over each child from their uh, spiritual families. So that we are gonna start with Luna. And this is from her Nana. The, world I, the word I want to bless you with is beloved. Luna, you are beloved by God. May you always trust in his faithfulness towards you. May you love him with all your heart, soul, and mind. May you know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. 
And this is for Harrison. This is from Grace Odideron. The one word I bless your family with is faithful to God. May you have the spirit of Joseph. May you be faithful to God all your life, even when you don't understand. No matter where you are, may you lead and walk in grace and mercy every day of your life. This is for Levi. This is from Grandma. I believe that the greatest blessing you could receive, my dear little grandson, is the blessing of love. As you have received the blessing of love, certainly all other blessings, goodness, joy, fidelity, peace, mercy, and meekness will follow you every day of your life, and you will be safe, abiding and resting in the hiding place of the Most High, who will always be your refuge and your fortress. And this is for Alba Sophia. This is from Grandpa. The one word I bless your family with is love. That God continues to bless them with love, a love that lasts forever and is founded on the love of God and his word. This love will reflect the love of Christ and will help her in her walk with the Lord so that she can serve him and love her peers as he asks of us. So at this time, I know it's, it's overwhelming. It's a great blessing. Okay, I am going to now ask each of the parents. I'm going to ask Joel and Mara and Kubila and Andre and Edson and Gloria and Xavier and Abelis three questions. Do you commit to modeling faith, hope, and love for your child so that you may be a kingdom-minded and a God-seeking family? Do you commit to raising, training, and teaching your child to become a disciple of Jesus Christ? Do you commit to revealing to your child how they are made in the image of God, helping them to discern the gift and calling upon their life to bless, honor, and glorify God? Wonderful. I'd like to now invite Pastor Alex to pray over the children. Amen. Church family, we're here in this together, and so I'm going to ask you to extend your hand forward to the stage. I'm going to bless the children and their families. So, Alba, Sophia, we just bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Levi, we bless you in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Harrison, we bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Luna, we just bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. So, God, we just thank you for our children here. God, you dictate everything in our lives. God, you know every hair on our head from the moment that we're conceived. And God, we just dedicate these babies to you. We dedicate mom and dad to you. We dedicate these four children to you, God. And we just thank you that we get to be a church that walks alongside of these families. Lord, but Jesus, you also said you allow the children to come to you. Lord, and you embrace them. So God, I just pray for each of these children, to, for them to come to know the voice of Jesus the, the, the embrace of Jesus, for them to be fully aware by the power of the Holy Spirit, God, the, the scent of Jesus, God, all the things that talks about the intimacy of Christ, God, I just ask that these children will be able to come fully aware, even at this young age. I just pray, Father, that their dreams will be full of the Lord Jesus. God, the Holy Spirit, you'll re- reveal to them and give them gifts that they can never do on their own. God, and for the parents, Lord, even when it's hard, even when it's difficult, Lord, may they stand strong. God, even as a church, when, when the parents struggle, when they need a break, God, may this church be the ones who stand alongside of them. And we just thank you, God, for the cries, for the cries of life, for the cries of joy. God, we just ask for a special blessing upon these four children. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
and we would like to just do another round of applause to encourage. <laughs> Thank you.